We are doing exercise 7a and in this video I'll be answering question 2e which says in each of the following find the rule for the image of the graph of y equals f of x under the given translation. So f of x equals the square root of x and it's under a translation of two units in the positive direction of the x-axis and one unit in the negative direction of the y-axis. Now, when answering this question, we can go about it in two ways. One is the easy way, which is going about it through inspection. And the other way is the way that you need to know, and it's the method as outlined in the textbook. And this is the surefire way to do it. You need to know it. But let's begin with the easy way, which is just kind of looking at it and coming to our conclusion. So we know that we're beginning with f of x equals the square root of x. We are then going to apply a translation in the x direction. And we know that when we're doing that, it's actually going to be represented within, inside the square root. And if it's positive, I'm going to have a negative here. So it's going to be negative two. So again, when applying a translation in the x direction for a square root graph, it's going to occur with inside the square root and the sign will be reversed. Now, let me add something to this. You need to be ever so careful if you're doing this the easy way through inspection, because if this was a negative x here, that would change things. So just be careful when you're doing this. I just had to add that there. All right, next we're adding one unit in the negative direction of the y-axis. When we're adding translations to the y-axis, moving up or down, it's far simpler. It's going to happen outside the square root. And if it's negative, it will be a negative and it's going to be a negative one. So that is what it's going to look like. And let's say that this new rule is g of x. Perfect. So that is what we should arrive at the end of doing it our other way. So that's the quick way of doing it. Be careful when you're doing it. Only do it to double check. Okay, let's now go through the second way, which is split up into two steps. We're first going to be applying our translation. So here we have x, y, and this represents our original point. It actually represents every point on our original graph, our square root of x graph. We are then going to apply our translations and arrive at a new point. And this new point is going to represent every point on our new graph. So we have our original point, we apply our translation, and we arrive at a new point, which we call x dash y dash. Now this is a very general statement. We could rewrite this, but be more specific. So we have x, y, our original point, we then apply a transformation, and we know what that transformation is going to be. It's going to be a translation of two units in the positive x direction. So that means I'm going to take my x and plus two to it. And it will be one unit in the negative direction of the y-axis, which means I'm going to take my y and minus one from it. So this is my new point. So hopefully you can appreciate that this and this represent the same thing. They represent my new point and therefore x dash equals x plus two and y dash equals y minus one. So I could write that down. I could say x dash equals x plus two and y dash equals y minus one. I'm now going to rearrange both of these so that x is my subject and y is my subject. So I'm going to get x is equal to x dash minus two. So I minus two from both sides. And over here, I'm going to get y is equal to, and I'm going to plus one to both sides to y dash plus one. With these now, I can arrive at what my new graph is going to look like. So let's first write down what my original graph is, which is, which is f of x equals the square root of x. And because y equals f of x, I can write y equals the square root of x. Now, after our transformation has been applied, we know that y is going to equal y dash plus one. So I can write that in, y dash plus one. I also know that my x is going to equal x dash minus two. So I'm going to put that into my x spot, x dash minus two. I then am going to minus one from both sides. So I'm going to get y dash equals the square root of x dash minus two minus one. And then I'm going to say, this is g of x, whoops, let me make that a prettier x, g of x equals the square root of x minus two minus one. 
And as you can see, this right here, which is our answer, is what we arrived at through our easy way of inspection. Hopefully this was helpful to you. And I just want to stress again the importance of mastering this technique, our second method. It's ever so important. Use this as a backup.